to go to Jeff first in Connecticut. Uh, Jeff, you're up with the beautiful Agape. Thank you, Thank you Scott. Ag Agape, Jeff Gamble here. Thank you so much for everything. I, um, I have your book here. And oh, Lord, I love it. Thank you. This, this morning, I looked through it uh, last week. And then this morning, I said, I'm, I'm going to um, just open it up and see what it brings me to. And um, it, it brought me to page 84, prayers for when you're feeling burnt out. And um, it, it was it was it was talking to me about me. And uh, there's no question that I opened up to the right page. It was there for me. I thank you very much. And um, it's something that I certainly struggle with. And 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 there there it was for me. On can page, you read uh, just Can you read just one paragraph from it? Sure, uh, dear beloved, I have been going nonstop. I have lost my boundaries, and I feel I am about to lose myself in the burden of my work. I have lost my enjoyment and my creativity. I feel as though I am on a treadmill and I can't get off. And it goes on from there. And yeah. I just relate with that. And I thank you very much for, for writing that. I, well, I am so, so grateful that you mentioned that because I forgot that, that prayer, actually. I do love it. Um, and what I wanted to ask you, Jeffrey, whenever you feel moved, would you write your own prayer to it and let the Spirit speak to you and tell you what Spirit has for you as a, as a guidance? Because do that, I or what, what what you're saying? Would I? Would you? Would not not now, but whenever. Yeah, I will know, try to do that. Yes, I'll try to do that. Because part of what I want to inspire people is that they will open up to that gift of their prayers, and 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 the spirit in Jeffrey. You know, the human Jeffrey will speak to that divine Jeffrey, and let the divine Jeffrey guide you to the new chapter in your life of how to do life for jeffrey thank you and spirit will tell you and that's the beauty of it and that to me is the greatest gift to see how people then send me their prayers of what they came out of something that they were going through by letting the spirit uh one woman from london emailed me i i wrote a chapter in this book about an incredible disappointment i had about something, a project that I worked for two years and then it didn't succeed, but it did succeed in its own way. And this woman said she had suffered this guilt and this judgment because her business had fallen through. And she took 32 days, I think she said, or 30, where she just prayed and asked for that thing to shift. And she said, the world just opened up and she got free. And because she every day, every night she said she would write a prayer about that and let the spirit heal her. So that's thank you so much. I, I so appreciate it. And I wanted to ask you to give you all my email because I do have guided meditations from my last book, which is Wake Up to the Joy of You. And I have 33 meditations. By the way, my book, if anybody wants to know, it's also an audio because people love audio and it's me, it's my voice. And I read it and it's very soothing. The prayers are all there. And I Agapi, A-G-A-P-I, and Kathy, you might want to put it in the chat at unbindingtheheart.com, unbindingtheheart.com. And if you send me an email and um, let me know, I will send you um, my eight or 10 guided meditations, which are really beautiful from my last book. And they're all on audio. You can order all of them. There are 33 on audio. Wake up to the joy of you meditations. And um, so I, it will be my joy. And we can stay connected. Love it. Love you know it. That you, you got into the spirit. And that spirit kept, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm walking around going, God is my partner. And whenever I forget, I have a little inner circle. And they say to me, I said, I'm down. I'm upset. And, they, and my sister goes, who's your partner? I said, God, why well, said, God do your day. <laughs> <laughs>